Hello, Mark. Welcome to RoboHub. Hi. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, could you give us a little bit of an introduction? Uh, sure. Um, so my name is Mark Yim. I'm the director of the GRASP lab at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, the GRASP lab is the oldest robotics research lab um, in the country. Um, I'm also currently the, the competitions chair for ICRA that's coming up in, in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you elaborate a bit on the uh, your role at ICRA as the competition chair? So um, basically, it's um, more of a facilitator. Uh, people have ideas for competitions. They send proposals to um, the competitions committee, um, and then we evaluate them to see if they're appropriate and, and fits within what we're trying to do. Um, and then we help to make it happen. You know, give resources, the space, the, the um, power, electricity, all that kind of stuff that happens as it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So what will be the theme of the competitions this year? So there, there really isn't, we didn't come up with a theme. Uh, I, I actually wanted to have one where we were thinking about having, you know, like robots and the, a couple of exciting things happened in, in the Philadelphia stadium in the Penn stadium where like the very first uh, running races were held for, I think it was like the first, I don't remember what exactly it was. The Penn relays are quite a big thing, mm -hmm. um, but it, it didn't work out. So there's just trying to get, you know, lots of, we have more competitions than we typically have in ECRA this time. And so it's also going to be more integrated into the full program as opposed to a, an event that happens at the same time. Yes. Yes. Um, what are some of those competitions going to be? What are they going to be uh, competing for in their goal? So um, this one, you know, the COVID times are make things a little bit funny because mm -hmm. um, previous years they had competitions, but they were all virtual. And then as we were organizing things this year, um, people weren't sure is it going to be virtual or not. And so people said, okay, a lot of the proposals were, okay, this is what we're going to have, but in case it's virtual, this is, you know, we have the separate plan. So what we ended up with was half of the competitions being virtual and half the competitions being in person. So, um, the virtual ones are a lot of, you know, software, uh, type planning or control or, 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 you know, here's a simulation. What would your robot do and how would it do? And then they're evaluated offline. And then during the competitions, what we'll do, we'll have actually the awards and some presentations and people will talk about what they actually happen. We will have in-person um, components for those virtual events. And then there are the in-person events um, where there are, there's like the uh, F one tenth, like formula race car, except it's one tenth scale, middle cars, one tenth scale going very, very fast around these racetracks, fully autonomous. Um, there's the what's called the RoboMaster, um, the sponsored by DJI, where they've got these robots that shoot. I'm not exactly sure if they're going to do this time, but they usually shoot marbles at each other, you know, in this big mm -hmm. enclosed area. This is kind of like a little battle thing. Um, uh, sometimes it's half uh, autonomous. What we're actually going to be showing is probably not going to be autonomous. Then they've got the simulated version of that. There's a bunch of things like that going on. There are eight, eight different mm -hmm. uh, competitions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and you, you mentioned that some of them, some of these are going to be autonomous. Um, and then some of these, it sounds like they might be remote controlled, uh, if not uh, autonomous. Yeah. So the, the, like the RoboMaster one was intended to be fully autonomous and that's, they actually have a fully autonomous, uh, competition, but, um, again, partly because of COVID and all the travel restrictions, uh, <clears throat> most of the, uh, competitors are not going to be able to fly out here. They do have a couple of competitors who will be here that are in the preparation for that autonomous version, which will be, so it's semi, uh, um, remote controlled. Um, and there's also, a there's a Lego league, you know, elementary school competition. So that'll be oh, here great. as well. Yeah. Um, that one is, I think also partially autonomous or, you know, how those things go. They're part, partly autonomous as well. Yeah. Do you have any personal favorites? Um, for the competitions? Yes. Um, the, uh, they're all, they all are, are pretty exciting. I think there's, and they, they run the gamut from, um, motion planning, like with obstacles, uh, to flying vehicles, um, you know, agile drone flying, um, to, uh, uh, manipulation, 
you know, there's this one is in person. They have a, a bunch of robot arms and they have to like set a table. And can they do that autonomously mm -hmm. seeing all the different components, that kind of stuff. So th there are lots of different types of competitions, which are fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, one of the interesting things about having these competitions where you're bringing in people from all over the world is you get this competitive drive and um, it, it also drums up some excitement, you know, uh, makes it a bit fun. Um, and a bit more entertaining. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. of them are, are are very fun to watch, and uh, what we're hoping is in the it'll be in the exhibit hall, um, and so you know it's a very big space, and other activities will be going. But when there are certain activities, like the competition is about to do a, a final run or something, we'll make an announcement, and hopefully it'll gather a crowd so they can watch what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, and you you mentioned that this year there's going to be a stronger focus on the competitions. Is there any reasoning behind that? Um, this is more, I think, uh, maybe philosophically from the uh, the chair, the general chairs, uh, Vijay and George, George Vijay Kumar and George Pappas. They were thinking that there are a bunch of events that are going on at ICRA, and in the past it's always been like here are events that happen to be happening at the same time. But we wanted to, he wanted to make it more integrated. So um, the, the competitions are, you know, in the program, everything's listed uh, on the, the um, all of the different descriptions are, everything is integrated into one. So people can choose to go to a session or go to the competition or they can see what's going on at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And so are there any uh, major trends that you've seen, um, let's say at ICRA or with competitions in general? over the last couple of years? Um, so the, the, another really great thing about the competitions is that it, it's like, it's different from a paper. You know, you write a paper, you get a demo, you mm -hmm. publish it and it's, it's, it's its own thing, but you can't, it's hard to compare. Okay, here's this one paper and here's another paper that's on the same topic, but they use a different system. How do they really compare? In a competition, you know, for real, you've got the rules, everything is, especially if it's physical, Okay, this is what really, really works when it comes down to, to um, brass tacks. And so, um, I think uh, the the trends for for competitions in general, I think, are people trying to see can they really push uh, the 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 technology um, mm -hmm. in a real sense, in a real setting, um, w which is exciting. So that is, I think, the general trend is is getting more of uh, and also broader, many different things. Uh, many different types of competitions is what's kind of exciting. Yeah, yeah. So one of the really interesting things that you get out of these competitions is you've got um, different teams taking very different approaches. Maybe some are doing a bit more of a machine learning approach. Some are doing more traditional approaches. Um, and you get to see these come head to head. And, you know, obviously um, different approaches have different levels of effort that they take, um, a different amount of time that it really takes to implement it and implement it well yeah um, yeah and that that's really interesting i think that's um in the competitions normally what you see is the end product uh this approach tends to work better than this other approach especially i think most dramatically in the past you know they had the uh, amazon picking challenge where it came out that you know there these suction type grippers work really well, surprisingly well, better than, you know, many of these other, uh, what people thought would be normal, the normal industrial hand grippers. Um, uh, and so that was a time when you got to see, okay, here's an approach that works well for a large, uh, set of, um, uh, tasks. Uh, but what doesn't quite come out is like how much work went into getting that particular approach. Cause that's the only, you only see at the competition, the final result not necessarily how much effort went into it, which is a bit tricky. Yeah, yeah. Or what the potential could be for one of the approaches if, you know, there is more time that they could invest into it. So some things lend more easily to a quick win, whereas um, other things might be long term, a bit more realistic uh, to actually that, implement. That's a really good point. Um, so the, the competitions which have had a longer history of running over and over again, um, you know, people, competitors who can come back year after year can build on previous uh, uh, previous work. But when we have a new competition just introduced, very often it's only, only been, you know, six months or whatever that people have had to prepare for it unless they happen to be working on that work, that topic in any way, which is, you know, 
again, so it's, it's, it's a really interesting point that you bring up this, you know, how do you get competitions to be, you know, more uh, uh, building on previous work type of things. And so we can carry through longer term. Thank you very much, Mark. Yeah, no problem. Okay.